Hey guys, I'm Dubai Zob here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about a specific topic that recently has come about on iPhone 12 models, and that is a greenish tint appears to be affecting the display quality of iPhone 12. Now, this affects, or reportedly is affecting, all iPhone 12 models, from iPhone 12 mini to iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. Now, I've come across similar issues uh, pertaining to OLED displays in the past. I did film a video on how to sort of fix these issues, and some users do confuse some software features with actual display problems, so I wanted to make this video and sort of give you guys some feedback on how you can fix this, if you can, and if not, then definitely, yeah, you will have to take your iPhone to Apple. But a lot of times it's software driven and I'm going to show you why. So first up, I'm going to go to settings here and show you a green tint overlay using a filter here under accessibilities to sort of give you guys some reference of what this may look like if you do have this issue. Now, this was first reported back about November 18th, so about two weeks after the filming of this video. And some users are reporting this here. So a greenish tint overlays the display of the iPhone and green is a color that's also very dominant in OLED displays so this could be a real issue but a lot of users confuse this with actual software features and I'm gonna show you which ones I'm talking about and hopefully this will help you so let's go ahead and remove this filter here this is sort of just reference to show you what this might look like in case you do have this issue so number one thing you want to look at before you take your iPhone into Apple to see if your display is actually having uh, actual issues with the hardware is you want to go to display and brightness there's two options here that could affect the temperature and the colors of the display of your iphone the first one is true tone which is pretty much enabled by default and now true tone is a feature for most iphones from iphone 10 i believe on up or iphone 8 and this one adapts the color and the temperature of the display according to the ambient lighting around you so the colors appear more natural to the eye now some users do love this feature me in particular i don't really like this feature i think that it tampers with the color and the temperatures on the display a little too much for my liking so true tone is one of those things that you may want to turn off when you're using your iphone if you're seeing this greenish colored tint on the display now the next one this one is night shift and some people do enable this manually by accident and this one could definitely affect the temperature of the display because this one is for use at night. So your eyes don't get strained. The temperature of the display sort of turns a little bit orangey. Maybe you guys can see this here on film. But this one sometimes is activated manually. And as I mentioned, this is a feature that will help you at night if you use your iPhone in bed before you go to bed. It kind of helps your eyes relax a little and not get all those beaming blue colors from the display on your iPhone, preventing you from going to sleep sleep so if you do have night shift or if you don't know if you have night shift enable just head on over to settings display and brightness night shift and just turn it on and the temperatures will go right back on the display to the way they're supposed to be from the beginning and these are just some of the tips and some of the things i recommend you do before you take your iphone into apple now if you do have a persistent green display or overlay of a filter sort of on your display of the iphone 12 then by all means take your iphone to apple but hopefully this helps some of you guys thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one peace